Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, John signing in, it's been a while, apologize for that. Um, <clears throat> Siding job is done, did that over the summer, showed that in the last video. Got a little bit of early snow here in Michigan, uh, kind of took me by surprise and I was definitely not ready for it, so what can you do? Right now, I'm just out here cleaning up the garage. Um, I'll show you my little plow rig. You guys might remember the John Deere. It's running good. Uh, <clears throat> I got a um, parts tractor off of Craigslist for 10 bucks, and it had a good variator on it. So I stole that and a couple other parts, and, uh, and then I junked the rest <clears throat> the frame and the and the uh, fenders. Oh yeah, I showed that in a previous video. You guys saw it. I thought about keeping it to try to, I don't know, move my parts over to it. And I just realized that's way more work than I want to do. <clears throat> I did scavenge uh, this guy. I don't want to let that go with the tractor. It would be cool if I could get a pump and get it working on mine. Or I'll just sell it if somebody needs one. Figure. I don't know. That's the kind of part that's hard to come by. Wish I had the uh, pump on it, but it didn't. <clears throat> anyway. So yeah, just uh, got back from uh, Chicago. Doing the uh, Thanksgiving with the in-laws. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there. Belated. Um, not much going on here. Haven't been working on the car. I got a little bit of a warm day here. And I'm just trying to get the garage or the barn... Uh, cleaned up and to the point where I can actually move around out here. I did um, pick up a couple, three big crates off Craigslist and I put some casters on them. Those we're planning on moving in the spring. I may have mentioned that before and uh, I got a lot of junk out here to move so I thought those crates might be helpful for the move. I'm going to fill them with getting rid of as much as I possibly can and the stuff that I want to keep I'm going to put in those crates and I got a bunch of totes and stuff down there totes I can't see it totes there's my uh, my um, snowblower project if any of you guys um, can give me a tip this thing needs a new one of those brass gears and to get at it I need to get this out but I think this gear is pressed on or this bearing is pressed on I can't get that thing off if you guys got any uh, pointers on how I can get that off of there I can't get the thing apart to get into the transmission uh, without um, or differential whatever it is without uh, getting that bearing off so if any of you guys like Musty that uh, are used to working on, or Terry are working on, used to working on snowblowers and know what to do there, let me know, please. Um, yeah, I mean, the car sits. As she always has. I got my, um, my car dolly back. I sold uh, Tom's parts car this summer, and the guy luckily brought back. Uh, my dollies so I can move the car now which I'm planning on doing in the spring sure would be awesome if I could get the underneath sprayed and then the suspension put back together and get some wheels on so it'll roll to move it but I'm not sure how realistic that is before uh, late spring early summer move I'd have to wait till the temperature gets up in the spring uh, to spray it and then I don't know how quickly I can put a suspension together after that so I don't know we'll see I got pink paint all over everything, including my door. Making a gift for my daughter. I got a little uh, desk and spray painted it pink for her. So, anyways, let's try and get things cleaned up here, guys. It's a freaking mess. Summer's worth of projects, and I'm the type of guy that when I get done with a project, I just throw everything in the barn and and tell myself, "Oh, I'll clean it up later." Well, now is later. So, 
It is a mess and a half, but we'll get it squared away. Um, all right, well, that's about it. Love my new job. I started last January, so I don't know how new it is, but the drive's a killer. It's an hour on a good day. I've had one day where it was a two-hour drive. Um, it was bad weather. It was the first snow of this year, and um, <clears throat> the roads were just full of traffic jams from people sliding off and fender benders. But, um, yeah, I love my job. Um, life is good. Back is feeling a lot better. Um, if you guys recall, I was having some back troubles. Still not great. I still can't really sleep a full eight hours because after about seven hours, my back is hurting so bad that I need to get out of bed. I guess maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't have any sciatica. So, you know, it's a lot more manageable. Hopefully I don't have any more of those episodes because that gets really bad. Yeah, okay. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please give me a shout-out in the comments, and um, talk soon.